she came back when they got the results in and they told me, you have two tumors in your leg. We don't know if they're cancerous or not, but we're going to suggest to you to chance so you can try and find out. We're also going to give you the name of a doctor we want you to see for this. That's what I knew. Well, shit, it's possibly cancerous. More than anything, if you're telling me that. So I said, okay, this is gonna be great. Okay, sure, I'll go to Gainesville. And they're like, we don't want you walking on this in the meantime. So we're gonna give you crutches so that way you can walk as well. Great, I've never used crutches in a day of my life. This is gonna be great. I even had somebody that heard me walking on crutches say, Come on, Twinkle Toes, you can do it! Come on, Tinkerbell! I'm like, son, mm. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. I hated my life. She was dying on the, literally on the street as this was happening. And I'm just like, I hate everything. I got depressed and I told my sister when she came back from working, cut my hair off. Are you sure you wanna do that? Cut my hair off. I'm getting more depressed of seeing clumps fall on the floor and seeing hair on my pillow than I am of it falling out. Cut my hair off. People that go through this, they go through hell. I know I've been cursing, but this is actual little hell. Granted, I'm fine with all this. Because I'm fine having to go through chemo for all this. It means I'd be able to get this out of my system. And I'll be able to actually go back to walking and not having to worry about knee pain for as long as I can. Chemo is a lot harder than what people are actually putting it out as. It really messes somebody up. It's worth it, yes, to get rid of something that can easily kill you. But the stuff that comes with it is something that's not really enjoyable or lovely. And that's what people need to also know about. Because they emphasize so much on how they're happy that they didn't lose it. But they're not giving out the full entire thing on what's going on. Granted, I know it's not something that people want to hear, but it's something that's happening. Cancer isn't really the end of everything. It's a brand new chapter for you to experience and try. It may be terrible now, but don't worry, it'll be grand by the end of it.